Sophie, you want to come here and say hello? Do you want to say hello? Come here then. Say hi guys. I spent all day with you. We spent all day together. She's my best friend. We're best friends. She's bored of me now. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Sophie, what was that noise? Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. How are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well. I could not be happier that spring is on its way. Spring is like here. I've decided it's just here. I'm like, that's it, winter's gone. It's out the door. Watch next week be the most hideous weather. I may have to get my puffer coat out. But I'm in full on denial about that at the moment and I am in my spring aura. Today I have probably one of the biggest and best Primark hauls I've filmed in a while and I'm gonna put my neck on the line and say that. Uh, this is all clothing by the way guys. I have some of the best clothing I've had in forever. Like some of the best. I'm so excited to get into it. If you're not already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit subscribe and you watch my videos. I have quite a few of you guys that watch my videos that are not subscribed and I'd really appreciate it. I'm gonna leave all my other links below, like my Instagram and my TikTok. I post on there so often. I'm very like active on those handles. So if you wanna follow me over there, I'd really appreciate it. I'll also leave a link to this little jacket below. This is a new one from H&M. I'm gonna do a little H&M mango. Like I've been ordering quite a few new spring bits for my wardrobe. And I'm gonna film an entire video, but I will, I will link this one below for you guys. Also, before we get into it, I made this. It's terrible, but I made it, and I'm just proud of the fact that I made it. I did pottery with my friends, and I made this little mug. And because it's springtime, I thought it was the perfect mug. Anyone has this dog sit like under their feet so they can't actually do anything because their dog is like under their feet. Also, I hope you like guys like my spring background. You can't see my little bunny, but she's behind me. I just get these little bits of tap from TK Maxx and places like that, and I love them. I absolutely love them. So, so yeah right let's get on to it i am gonna start with this bag that i've got here no i'm gonna start with this bag because i think it's got better stuff in i've got four bags so this is probably gonna be a big one sit down get yourself a glass of wine if it was any later on in the day and i didn't have a load of work to do i wouldn't have a cup of coffee i would have a glass of wine because anyone else just like need that on a friday anyway okay guys i'm gonna start off with accessories because i got the cutest little handbags in Primark. You guys are going to see lots of content on my socials um, from Primark because I've done a couple of reels for them. So first up is this pink satin bag. It really reminds me of that like, what is that designer that does these bags? It's going to really annoy me and there's one like made out of glass. Now I can't think what they're called. They retail for £12 each. This is like a real pale satin pink. It's nice and structured and it fits really nicely under the arm. I happen to have like this really baggy jacket on which it doesn't fit with under the arm but it normally would and I just thought it was really cute. It went with a lot of the outfits that I picked up and I thought this baby pink was just spring and pretty and then I also grabbed the denim and I actually love the denim more than I thought I would I've been eyeing up this coach denim bag I'm gonna pop a picture on the screen and I feel like this is a good like little tester because if I use this bag a lot and I feel like it goes with a lot of outfits I might invest in that really cute coach denim bag because I just think it's divine but yeah I grabbed these two both 12 pounds I thought they were really cute I love how structured they are for a little Primark moment okay i'm gonna go into the fashiony bits because honestly i love this rita aura edit that she's done first up is this baby blue dress i'm gonna sit here and i'll put the video clips i've got of the items on the screen okay this is like a pale blue ruffle completely long to the floor dress with a gorgeous split up it, it has all these little ruffle details this is flawless, it's beautiful. I have an orange one from House of CB that I wore last summer that I love. I'm probably never gonna sell that dress because I just love it so much. This reminds me of that and this is like half the price, I mean more than half, less than half the price. This was 25 pounds, whereas that orange one is from House of CB and it's very, very expensive. I just think this is a perfect shade of pale blue. I think it's such, can we tell I'm in this blue phase at the moment? I think it's such a good dress for like weddings. If you've got like, any weddings coming up oh it's so sunny and so beautiful and i'm such a fan of it this was 25 pounds okay moving on to another accessory that i grabbed in primark i grabbed these shoes i am so in love with these they're like a linen fabric um i actually got them in a six i got another pair of shoes in a six i feel like primark shoes run a little bit big i'm normally in heels i would always go for a seven just for comfort but these are great they're a really little kit in heels so they're not going to be for everyone but do you know what gone are the days when i'm going to wear a stiletto like they're just gone i am just too old for that shit 
and they're not comfortable and I don't care that I wear kitten heels and people hate kitten heels like I would rather be comfortable I also think they're really chic like I think even with this outfit I've got now I've got denim jeans and this little jacket these little court shoes would look so cute with this outfit and really put together I am obsessed with these they're a really lovely like linen-y kind of fabric I think they did them in another colorway can't remember the price on these but love love this is in such a successful haul okay I think I'm gonna do my favorite item I'm gonna do my favorite item because I'm just so excited about it this is a suit that i grabbed from primark primark are killing it with the suits i'm a real big fan of a suit the reason why is i always think you look very put together very chic and it is minimal effort like it is very deceiving people think that you have made such an effort but you're just comfortable and it's easy and you don't have to think about what's going to go with what what i also like about a suit is that you can then style the pieces up completely separately and make them look like a totally new outfit i think they're very versatile i got this light pink suit you guys will see it on the screen it's absolutely stunning and these trousers fit impeccably i actually have this style of trouser in white and they're my like everyday white pair of trousers i wear them all the time so i'm really happy that they've done the same shape and cut and everything in this like pale pink this could not get more perfect this is like exactly what i want to see from spring i grabbed these in the uk 12 and they were 18 pounds but i honestly think they're worth it i think they're a gorgeous trouser and then to pair with those trousers i picked up the blazer now i got this blazer in a size 14 to 16 and it is perfect it is oversized it is boxy so you might not want to size up i know some people have a real thing when i wear like an oversized blazer i think i did a video for primark's own socials in an oversized blazer and the comments it's like a sparkly blazer from like christmas time the comments on that video was so savage i think primark's content like gets pushed out so it gets like millions of views and people just didn't like those pieces that i styled for whatever reason obviously entitled to their own opinion oh my god like the comments they were literally like this is the most hideous this and i was like <laughs> made me really sad so i know not everyone's gonna love an oversized blazer i i get it but for me they're like a basic in my wardrobe and this pale pink this is the perfect shade of pale pink like i am obsessed i honestly could be going to a gender reveal right now <laughs> in both these outfits but i just absolutely adore this blazer i think this was 34 pounds so it's definitely on the pricey side for primark but you could style this really like nicely with like a white bodycon dress underneath you could do it with denim shorts and a white shirt you could do it with jeans you could obviously do it with the matching trousers I think the blazer is going to be a really, really good item in my wardrobe. It's double breasted, it's all lined, has a nice shoulder pad. Such a fan of this blazer, if you cannot already tell. I love it. I love it. This cord. I saw this cold and I don't get me wrong it looked nice in the store but I just don't think I appreciated when I went into the store how nice it was going to look when I got it home and I would really recommend it I just think it's so cute okay next up I have a Marmite item that I adore these are a pair of little ballet shoes I know these are Marmite I know people passionately hate these and I can see it I, I can see why these are so my style like a little grandma ballerina shoe like it just fits into my aesthetic but I do understand why people despise them i love them i was actually thinking of buying the dior versions of these shoes have i absolutely lost my marbles feel free to tell me in the comments i'll put a picture of the dior version of them on screen i just think they're so feminine and beautiful i also love the mumu versions of these shoes which i'll also pop on the screen but these were like i've taken the price tag off them now because i know i'm keeping them an amazing price and they are very similar they really are like a ballerina slipper but as a shoe i got them in a uk6 they're very comfortable they're, they're divine they're absolutely divine i even managed to like sid picked a pair of these up which really surprised me just because she's very like cool girl vibes and i feel like because she picked them up i was like oh they must be trendy but i just absolutely love them and i think they're so cute and they're in this lovely pale pink they did also do them in denim which i can't lie i was really tempted to get but i had to bring all this stuff back from central london and i had another bag with me of stuff and i just thought oh, on the tube i have to change tubes a couple of times i was a bit like oh i'm trying not to go wild in there but there was so much that i could have picked up i definitely would have picked them up in the denim i'm kind of regressing it now but yeah let me know i know they're gonna be marmite i know some of you guys are gonna hate these shoes okay next up i just have these socks um i filmed a reel recently um and it's of my little like loafers with a like a short sock and loads of you guys were asking where the socks were from they're just primark socks i only ever buy primark socks pretty much yeah i'm trying to think of ever yeah yeah and i just think they're great and they look really nice with a loafer because they're slightly taller 
socks so they pair well with like a little chunky loafer which is always cute okay i've got a couple of basics here but that is what i love primark for basics i didn't even get a chance to go into the pajama or underwear section so i'm sure they had some lovely bits i got this plain white ribbed top this is perfect look i think i think spend money on your basics and i get why people do and i have a couple of the skims t-shirts i have a black and a gray and i really love those t-shirts but they were really expensive and if i'm honest if you're wearing something every day and putting it in the wash sometimes you just want a couple of them in the same colorway i like this just as much as my skims top like i really do and i love my skims tops but there's not a much you know much between them this was seven pounds um i got it in a size 10 to 12 it's perfect it's a really cute little white tee it goes with everything jeans that little suit just a great basic i then picked up this basic which again is from the rita aura collection i got it in a small which i think is the same i think that's a 10 to 12 in primark i get very confused with the sizes and this is like a little racer back plain white top i've been wearing this because it's so handy and such a great basic okay next up we've got another kind of feminine ruffled dress this is very very similar to that blue one again it's from the same collection but it's slightly different like this has two splits up here the neckline's ever so slightly different but very very similar um it's a baby pink ruffled long dress again from the rita collection i really really loved this i did go for this in a size medium i think i should have got a small in this um this has a lot more stretch than the blue like a lot like you can really really stretch this and like wriggle around it but the blue is definitely a lot more slim fit love this piece again i think it's a great option for the summer if you've got anything coming up maybe like your graduation ball or just something like that um i did think about wearing this as a wedding guest dress but part of me thinks it's just too light i don't know what the rules are Can someone tell me the rules because i'm getting married and i don't know the rules about well i guess the rules are whatever you determine them to be i would have no issue with with someone wearing this color to my wedding i would however have an issue with someone wearing cream or white but i wouldn't have an issue with this but let me know is this too is this too bridal but i think it's really cute nevertheless and it's just a nice dress to have in the summertime so yes i grabbed that another basic i got this little like cream t-shirt i just thought it was like a nice little basic tee it is a little bit sheer but i feel like that's kind of the point of these t-shirts this one was six pounds and it's just a really nice like off-white creamy color good everyday little tea i do you know what i don't have enough of and i realized in my wardrobe i don't have enough tops to wear to work out in like i have my sports bras and then i have like a jacket but i don't have like t-shirts and stuff and that's something i always struggle with because i always want i don't want to work out in a sports bra so that's something that i'm really lacking in my life okay onwards and upwards a pair of denim jeans could these denim jeans be in a better size yes these are in a size 10 and i just think they're too small on me sadly so i definitely need to go and get the size 12 in these but these are really cool they're a lovely light wash denim which i just love for spring summer i never used to be a jeans person but i'm sat here in a pair of jeans although the jeans i've got on now they're top tier nothing competes these are abercrombie and fitch straight leg i think these are the curved ones these are in a slightly darker denim but i also have them in the lighter denim I am the biggest stand for Abercrombie and Fitch. Like, I rave about them non-stop all the time. Die-hard fan. Their denim is the best. It's so good for girls that have a bum, thighs, hips. Like, it just caters for us. It caters for the tall girls, the small girls, because they do leg lengths. Such a fan of their denim. And their denim shorts, seriously underrated. I'll put a picture on the screen right now of a pair of Abercrombie and Fitch denim shorts that I have. I will leave them linked below because they're that amazing. If they bring them out again this summer, you seriously have to get them if you're someone that's struggles with denim i struggle with denim so much i struggle with denim shorts it's the worst thing that i hate trying on is denim shorts but i do feel like they're quite a good basic and when you find a pair that you feel confident in transformed my summer last year like i lived in those denim shorts but they're amazing they're abercrombie they're like a longer short in the inner thigh which i really appreciate i don't want a short short in the inner thigh it's gonna ride up it's gonna go up my bits and bobs nobody needs to see that so these abercrombie denim i'm really sorry like nothing competes However, you know, this is an entirely different price point. These Primark ones are a much better price point and they're a different style of jean. So I feel like these are maybe more for like, maybe a night out. They're like a wide leg with like a slash in the knee. They're very like cool, straight all the way down. I really, really loved these. They're buttoned up like all the way up. They're not a zipper and they're gorgeous. I just do need to size up in these and go for the size 12, but I kind of knew that at the time. So yeah, very cool. Okay, so next up I have this suit 
This is another classic for me. I think this is gonna be something I'm gonna wear all summer long and I'm gonna wear both pieces separately. I love it so much. So again, this is in the Rita Ora collection. These trousers don't have a tag on. I remember the lady at the time saying something about them not having a tag on and I was so distracted. Like I was, I had left the shoes, the little ballet pumps that would fallen out of my basket. So I went on like a wild goose chase. She was furious with me that I'd like left the um, cashier stand to go and get my shoes. But she said something about these not having a label and I was so distracted. And then afterwards, when I got home, I thought, these don't have a label so if i go and return them they're like if they're not the right size but they are the right size so it's fine i did panic a little bit i can't lie anyway these are them they're like a pinstripe trouser they're very nice quality like these are thick they're just good quality they're not see-through i think primark have kind of smashed it with these they're like an off white slightly cream color the only issue with a trouser like this is they're gonna crease dreadfully um which i'm never normally a big fan of a fabric that creases because i'm lazy and i am just terrible at keeping things looking nice anyway so even more so when they're an easily creasable fabric it's 10 times worse i do adore these though i think even with that little white t-shirt from before they would look so cute just like a pair of flat trainers it's easy it's effortless pair of sunnies really really good basic i think to have in my wardrobe i've always wanted a little suit in this style this pinstripe style but in like a summery style so i'm really excited about that and the blazer is just so stunning so this is the blazer i've got the blazer in a size 12 because i wanted it to be oversized but i didn't want it to be like too oversized this was 32 pounds and i'm gonna just try it on for you now even though you guys can already see the try on clips i love it so much like just i've literally we got denim jeans on and a little white vest you could do that little t-shirt and this is just so nice it's structured in a nice blazer it feels comfortable i really love this i think she's done such a good job primark have done such a good job on the edit with rita aura because this is really nice it looks lovely with the trousers like as a matching set but just on its own as a blazer like, i love it like i love the little button detail it hits me in a great place oh i'm such a fan but the prices are reflected in the quality like 32 pounds for a blazer is definitely on primark's pricier side that's probably why i'm so obsessed with the stuff because it is that little bit more expensive than it used to be but i think it's gorgeous okay moving on this is a bit of a rogue one from me this is a denim it's not is it a midi skirt or a maxi skirt it's kind of not really maxi on me i would say it's more like midi well it's a denim skirt a long denim skirt i did pick one of these up from primark last winter again from the rita aura collection but it was like a darker denim and they didn't have a size 12 they only had a size 14 and it just didn't fit me quite right so when i saw they did it in a size 12 i was very very intrigued i am like converted to the denim skirt way of life i love how this looks on i think just with like plain tops like open shirts little jackets like this blazers i feel like there's so many ways you can style it and it just makes a change from like denim jeans i actually prefer it i think to denim jeans i'm so shocked it's taken me this long to get a hold of one of these skirts and i sort of hope they're not on their way out just as i'm getting on board with the trend but i genuinely really liked this on um it just goes all the way down the back it does have a little bit of a split up the back it's a really nice light wash denim which i prefer to that darker one that i'd picked up last year it was the darker one that i picked up last year was like more cool like it was like distressed at the edges and i just don't think it suited my wardrobe i love this again i went for this new k12 it's like the perfect size for me from primark love 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 really excited to wear this in the spring i think it's like the perfect spring staple for your wardrobe I'm really tempted to film a video like that because i've been really getting into those videos like um spring staples people have been filming them on tiktok and i've been loving them okay another like summery dress i think it's the same shape as those other two dresses i think they're all the same shape but just slightly different patterns there was some things from the rita aura collection which were not my style like very very floral prints and like more of like a satin fabric i prefer this more like chiffon style so yeah this is exactly the same cut as that blue dress it has like kind of like the off the shoulder style ruffle and then it goes down i really love this this is probably like the perfect wedding guest print for the summer or like a graduation day dress or if you need something that's just that little bit more formal but still like daytime appropriate i really like this it's in a really nice lemon it has this like blue kind of slight watercolor running through it size wise i got this in a size a uk 10 and i think this one probably fits me this in the blue i really like the fit of i love this i think it's so feminine so pretty i love the print yeah that's obviously one of her like classic pieces in the collection because she's brought it out in like three different colors okay next up are a couple more accessories so i grabbed this denim bag do you know what i thought it would fit my laptop that was sort of the reason why i picked it up um but let's see because now i've got it here i think it might be a bit small oh my god no it fits my laptop yeah i thought it was a really nice denim bag that i could use 
sort of for going into town like doing my emails things like that i now have a dog you guys know i'm a dog mom i'm a crazy dog mom which was inevitable wasn't it but i always need stuff now with me that i never needed before i would go out with sophie like when i would go out by myself i didn't need dog treats poo bags an extra lead um collapsible bowls like wet wipes i am one of those annoying people that like carries everything so it's quite nice to have slightly bigger bags but yeah this fits my laptop which i'm really happy about this was 12 pounds and it's just a super Super cute little denim bag. I think this is from the Tamara. Oh no, it's not Tamara, sorry. It's Paula Eshvatria. Eshverita. I'm so sorry. Collection. And I love it. I think it's really cute. You can also do this and have it longer or even like crossbody it if you're in London or something and have it right up under you, which you know what? That is my one piece of advice for going to London now. Just hold on to your belongings. I mean, it's always been obviously what people tell you to do, but just hold on to your belongings. Okay, I then grab these trainers now i wouldn't normally buy trainers from primark i'm gonna be like 100 percent honest but i did a little bit of work for them for their own social media and i just thought these looked like nikes and i actually really liked them in the video like i showed my friend them and i was like look how nice these trainers are they're from, they're from primark so don't sleep on their shoe section like i do think when you're in the store it can get really overwhelming and everything kind of blends into one and it sort of puts me off everything but then when i come away from the madness of the store i always think how nice everything is that i bought so i really liked these they're kind of like a white trainer with like a nude detail with a pair of like long trousers or like suit trousers they look like nikes and they were a fraction of the price. I don't actually know the price. Again, I got these in a six. So I find their shoes run a little bit big, but really, really cute. They look really nice with the outfit that I've got on now. Okay, I then got this little um, plain white scarf necktie bag tie thing. I just thought this would be cute, like either in my hair or not around my neck, really. I don't think I'm, although that looks quite chic. It's quite chic, isn't it? It's quite Lydia. Okay, maybe it looks a bit odd. But like in my hair, I don't know, I had visions for this little scarf. I'd kind of like to know what those visions were at the time, but I had visions for them. I think it's just kind of cute. I mean, have I absolutely lost my mind maybe? Okay, I also grabbed these sunnies. I just wanted like a round pair of sunnies to have in the car, to just always have in the car. So when I'm driving, I can put them on. I don't really want to leave my nice designer sunglasses in the car, but I thought these were cute. They are quite lightweight. Like if you sat on these, they're going to snap in two. But they're kind of cute. I never really go for a round frame because I have a round face. And I heard this thing once, it was like, do the opposite of your face shape. So like if you have a round face shape, go for a square angular sunglass. If you have an angular face, go for a round sunglass. And because I have a round face, I tend to go for something that's got a bit more structure to it. But what do we think? They're quite cute. They're about three quid, so. Okay, I then picked up this final little suit set. It's in this like sage green. Um, and I just thought, again, this is perfect for spring. These I got in a small. Why did I get them in a small? They were 14 pounds. I haven't tried these on yet. So now I'm a bit nervous because probably should have got a medium but they have like a bit of elastic at the back we will see when i try these on i'm yet to try these on 14 pounds i really liked the color i thought they were quite a good basic and then this is the matching blazer which i loved i got the matching blazer in a size large love the fit of this this was 22 pounds so definitely a much better price point than the Rita Ora collection. However, I do think the quality of that collection is amazing. This is what it looks like. It's just a really nice sage green blazer. I think you see me style this up on camera. But yeah, I liked it. I thought it was a good little spring basic. I love that kind of sage green tone. Okay, then I grabbed a bikini, but where are the bottoms? I grabbed a bikini. Primark swimwear at the moment is amazing. If you're looking for some swimwear, they've got so much, but because I don't have anything, well, I do have, I do have something booked, but it's not really like a beach holiday per se, but I'm sure I will be in a bikini at some point. I didn't want to go crazy in there. I grabbed this little like rust Lurex style bikini. So it's really, really sparkly in person, which I thought was really nice. And it's just like a basic kind of triangle bikini, but I did think it was cute. The top I got in a medium and at seven pounds. I mean, this, this top, by the way, this is a size 12 to 14. I'm going to be honest. These cups are not huge, especially once you take the little padding out, like they're quite small cups. I would not see, say that's a size 14 cup but it's up to you but i just wanted to kind of let you guys know and then the bottoms i got in a size medium again these look tiny i probably could have gone for a large in these um they are like that rust fabric and they just tie at the side and i just thought it was a really fun and cute bikini that paired 
really well with this cover up <gasps> i love this so much this is like a long sheer kind of dress that i thought would just look really nice over the top of swimwear it goes all the way down like that it was 20 pounds i got it in a size small i loved the back detail to this it's quite like low i just thought it was a great cover up for by the beach and by the pool and very very pretty this detailing i don't know how you guys can see but so nice and I think with like a fun bikini and a nice beach bag and like some cute accessories, I thought this would be really cute and I was very, very drawn to it. So yes, that is everything in this Primark haul. I need to sip on my coffee that's probably gone cold. Sophie's snoring because she's so over my shit now. She's like, oh my God, is that woman still talking? That is everything. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Primark haul. It's been a while since I've gone into Primark and like really gone for it. So I definitely made up for lost time. Loads of really exciting fashion videos coming to my channel and I hope you guys are liking my vlogs. I know they don't like pull in the views at, like how they used to or as much as like fashion content but i still love filming vlogs i just think they're really fun to watch back i watch so many of like my old travel vlogs back or just like exciting moments um and i feel like i document so much of my life on here so yeah it's still fun for me to vlog but let me know if they're kind of boring and you'd rather i just did like fashion content i always want to know you guys's thoughts and criticisms not criticisms what's the other word for criticism constructive criticisms yeah i also really need to get around to filming like a wedding series loads of you guys have been asking me questions about the wedding if i'm being honest i am no further ahead than i was when we got engaged which is really stressful which is why my uploads here on youtube haven't really been wedding related i think as soon as i have a venue and a date i am really excited to sit down and talk to you guys about all of the venues that we didn't opt for why talk about prices of venues some of the quotes i got back from some of the venues just because when I was doing it I really struggled to find like a lot of information out there and also I'm just nosy and I would want to know and I just want to share wedding info for anyone that might need help so yeah I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do a little TikTok series as well about like venue by venue and why we didn't go for it hoping to go out to Italy within the next couple of weeks and find my venue and get my date so everyone please like keep your fingers crossed for me because it's been it's been an up and down journey so far but i'm sure we'll get there thank you so so much for watching as always have a wonderful day and i will see you all in my next one bye guys